Hello. I just wanted to show a couple of paintings that I have that are up for purchase that I've done. Um, this one right here, I put a, two coats of resin on that I did. And uh, it has a matching pencil um, cup that I poured over. I put it on the middle of the canvas and I poured over it. I poured over the pencil holder. And that's the design it made. And I resin this also. I resin the pencil case too. I put two coats of resin on it also. So that came out pretty cool. That's how the sides look. I love the way resin makes things look. It's so glossy and so shiny. It looks like glass. But And that's the painting that matches. And I have other ones here to show that I put that liquid text gloss varnish on. Put this one down here. Let's show you these other ones real quick. This is another one that I did. And I put the gloss varnish on, which is that, the liquid text gloss varnish. That's what I bought the other day to put on it with to seal it with. So it seals it and protects it. So that's another one that I did. It has two coats of the varnish on it also. And this other one here, move that one out of the way. This other one is a 12 by 12. That one's a 9 by 11, by the way. This one is a 12 by 12 that I did a Dutch pour on. I think I should have let that black out, though. I don't know why. I just put the black in there, but I should have left it out. But I do like it still. <laughs> I put two coats of varnish on this also, which is really cool. I like all the bright colors and all the cells it made. It's really cool. This one's a Dutch pour. Got all the orange cells, the red cells, and the green lacing on it. I'll get a close-up of that and you can see it. See all the green lacing and the red cells, the purple cells, and the orange cells. It's really pretty. I love seeing all those cells on it, but I think I should have let that black out. After I looked at it, I thought I should have let the black out and just used the other colors. But, oh well. It's still pretty though, I like it. It still has two coats of that varnish on it too, so it makes it really glossy and shiny as you can see from the light shining on it. It has two coats of varnish on it. I'll show you this other one, but it's already spoken for. Somebody already, I'm already giving this one to somebody for a Mother's Day gift, but I'll show it to you. Because they claimed it, they wanted it, so I'm going to mail it to them soon, ship it to them. But this is another one I did, and this is a 16 by 20 canvas that I did. I'll show you a close up of it. With all the purple and the blue and the metallic pink I used and silver and this one which I think came out pretty cool. But this one's already been spoken for. So I'll be shipping this one out soon to its new home. But I really like how it came out and it got two coats of varnish on it also. But you can see the reflection of it from my window. How shiny it is. I just love that gloss varnish. It's so pretty. It makes things look so neat. But that's a few of the paintings that I got. And um, some of them I resin, but I don't resin all of them because resin is so expensive. But mostly I use this varnish right here, this liquid text gloss varnish. Because I like the way it finishes. I mean, it finishes pretty just like resin does. It's not, you know, as, as glassy looking as, as um, resin, but it still makes them look good. And still protects them, so that's what matters. And I also had this other um, one that I use with the um, that I'll show you that's hanging on my wall. I use the um, Artist Loft Ready Mix pouring paints with it, and I embellished it with a little tree and a moon. But um, I did a swipe on that one. I just wanted to try something different, so I did a swipe with this one, and I added the moon and the little tree, which I thought was fitting for it because it looks like a night scene. So I added the moon and the tree, and that's a. Uh, I believe 11 by 14, if I'm not mistaken, the canvas size. And the one above it is a Dutch pour that I did on a 10 by 20. And it's also available for purchase. I'll try to get a close up on it a little bit so you can see all the colors and pretty. But I'm going to put some varnish on it. I haven't yet, but I will put some varnish on it before I ship it off. I've been varnishing a lot of my pieces yesterday trying to get through them and varnish all of them so I can... Get them ready to be shipped out. But I just wanted to show you these few little paintings I got. Um, that I resined and varnished some. And um, 
hope everybody has a good day. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these paintings, please send me an email. Um, and I will put my email address in the description box of this video if you're interested in any of them. So shoot me an email and let me know. And I will ship them off to you um, and give you all the, the pricing on all of them, depending on which one you want to get. But they're not too bad. The pricing ain't too bad. And some of them, the, the smaller pieces... I offer free shipping on, but the other one, the big pieces like the 16 by 20, I'll charge $10 for uh, shipping because those are bigger pieces and it costs more to ship them. But the smaller ones I'll offer free shipping on. But until next time, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.